Hey guys, it's Vanessa and I'm here to record a video for you. I just came back from The Great Gatsby and I'm like obsessed with makeup from that movie. So it just got me in a mood to do videos because it just reminded me how much I love makeup. But anyways, this video is about makeup as you can tell by the title. It is a video letting you guys know some of my favorite brands that you can find at The Makeup Show. So for those of you who don't know, The Makeup Show is a gigantic, amazing trade show for um, people in the beauty profession. So let's say the specific, the core of it is really makeup. Everything else you can kind of get a little bit of, but if you're a makeup artist, to me, this is like a must have, a must attend, um, show because they have a lot of must-haves for your kit. So the makeup show is put together every year in several cities, I believe Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Orlando, and Europe. Um, and I think that the all of them have already happened except for the Chicago one, which is happening next weekend, which is what I'm going to talk about, and Orlando, which is happening in September. But have no fear if you uh, are close to any of those other cities and you've missed them because it is uh, an event that happens every year. So you should definitely uh, check out the website, which I will link below for the makeup show, and go. So in the past, if you've been a subscriber of mine, you've seen that I've gone to the Chicago one. And normally what I do is a haul video showing you all the things I got there. But I kind of wanted to do a video prior to the show to tell you some of the my, like my favorite brands and favorite products I've discovered because of the makeup show. And things that I think are really um, helpful for someone who does makeup on other people. Um, the show, honestly, like I said, if you are a makeup artist, if you're... Um, just getting into it it's a definite must-have because you are face to face with a lot of the brands that you know makeup artists carry in their kit respectable makeup artist brands and you can get them at a crazy ridiculous price um, and you can fill your kit for a lot cheaper than just like trying to go to the store without you know any pro discount so you're most of the brands if not all the brands you are going to be getting a discount of some sort since it's a pro event um, so like I said it's not really open to the public you have to have some sort of proof that you're a makeup artist artist um uh, again the link below to the makeup show they have a section there that tells you the proof that you need um so as long as you can provide that you can go aside from the shopping which i think is great there is so many amazing um like workshops you can take there so like you could educate yourself especially now we live in a different era back then you know everyone was going through beauty school to become a makeup artist now a lot of people you just you know this is like a natural passion for you and you're self-taught um and then you just go out in the world and start doing everyone's makeup. And here you kind of learn some techniques. They have like some free little keynotes um, that are little shorter sessions throughout the day. And I've actually learned so many things from those keynotes. Um, and then they also have like workshops that you pay an additional fee to attend that are a little bit more in depth. Um, and then they also have like... I'm sorry, I said keynotes before, but they also have like these little like side seminars. And the keynote speakers are like, they normally have like um, superstar, you know, people in the makeup industry and like super experts in the makeup industry. Those are free and they're a little lengthier. You get to really know the person. You can ask questions. Um, and all three of those you are going to get amazing tips from. So I definitely think that the show is just, it's, it's a no-brainer. If you're into makeup, you should go to the show. So... These are some of the products, and uh, yeah, yeah, these are all um, going to be at the Makeup Show Chicago, which if I didn't mention is next weekend, which is June 9th and 10th here in Chicago. Below, I will put the address where it's going to be here in Chicago, and if you're there and you see me, say hello, because I will be there um, all weekend. So, I'm just going to kind of pick at random from what I have. First and foremost, of course, my favorite brushes ever, Delium Tools. These brushes are amazing. There's a lot of brushes at the makeup show. These are the ones that I recommend you go to see. They're just really great quality. They're super soft. They have their um, Maestro line, which is like a little bit more professional, sleek looking, has a heavier weight to it, um, and has like a nice shiny little ferrule. They have their Studio line, which is um, a little more lightweight uh, and also a little bit more affordable. And I think there's more things here. The Maestro line is very concentrated and it's for a lot of pro application where the Studio line is kind of for like intermediate use. Um, so there's a lot more kind of brushes in there um, that you can play with. Then they have their Bamboo line, which is eco-friendly um, and completely 
eco-friendly. Like everything about it is like recycled, sustainable, good for the earth, animal friendly, and that sort of thing. And it comes in fun colors like uh, the yellow bamboo or the green bamboo and the new released pink bamboo, which I don't have any yet. Um, and even though I normally don't like pink brushes, I'm very intrigued by those. So I think I'm going to pick some up um, at the show. So that is that. Um, definitely Delium Tools. I think they have a lot of kits where you could just buy a bunch of brushes at once. They also sell a bunch of individual ones so you can get a bunch of like one kind that you use all the time or mix it up. But I think that they're a must have, must have of the show. Like my number one stop is Delium Tools. My number two stop, Delium Tools. Before I leave, I go back and buy more brushes. I love it. Um, another company that is going to be there is Kevin O'Quan. And I am a super fan of these like five eyeshadow kits that they have. The, oh, this one is just stunning, but the pigmentation is beautiful. The colors are very expertly coordinated and there's a good range of colors in all of them, which I really like as well. And I really like, funny enough, the packaging is very slim. So when you're packing it in a makeup kit, you can bring a lot of these um, because they're so sleek and slim and they look really nice and uniform. And Kevin O'Quan is to me legendary and it's a great name to have in your kits. And I love these products. Smashbox is also there and you get a great deal in Smashbox. Um, you can also sign up for their pro discounts so that you can in the future get a discount when you order online and that sort of thing now one of the things i picked up from the makeup show once from smashbox that i love is this contour um, palette and it's amazing every time i do someone's makeup i take it with me and it works literally on every skin tone i haven't had a problem yet so you have your highlight shade your bronzer shade and your contour all in one palette they all have like matte they're not shimmery um, and they work phenomenal very universal also good for eyeshadows eyebrows that sort of thing setting makeup a great great kit i love love this thing that's at the show and i really recommend um this year for the first time it says that eve pearl will be at the chicago show which is really exciting because i've been to the show in new york and they're always there but they're never at the chicago one and i really hope that this is true because i love them eve pearl to me is like a great line it just looks really good on um camera if i do like bridal people i always pack eve pearl stuff she has great products she has blush trios of varying shades um, she also has uh, concealer duos, trios, and individuals. She has uh, these things that I love. I have two of them. Her foundation um, trios, A and B. And this is basically like all her foundation colors. Perfectly compact. These will last you a really long time because a little bit is all you really need for your clients. And this is just all your foundations right here versus like 19 heavy bottles. So this is fin fantastic, I think, for a makeup artist. Um, and she also has eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Pretty in Pink. And her eyeshadows are super pigmented. Also, six in one little tiny packaging. The packaging of her stuff I love because it's all very, like, thoughtful for, you know, a kit. Um, and then I already showed that. She also has, like, a cream blush. She has a ton, a ton of products. Um, and I really like her line a lot. And I haven't used a product from her that I do not like. And I highly recommend. And I believe she's also doing a presentation there. Um, and I've always learned so much anytime I've seen her speak at the other makeup shows. So I suggest you attend that, too. Another um, kind of legend from the makeup show is OCC Lip Tars. If you do a lot of editorial makeup especially, that's also a favorite. They also do airbrush makeup. They have phenomenal nail polishes, OCC, that I love, um, that I also recommend that you pick up. And the thing that I can sometimes get there, and I hope they have it this year, and it's the Ruby Kisses um, eyeshadow primer. I love this stuff. It's comparable to a more expensive brand um, that you might be thinking of, and it's just really affordable so you could get a bunch of these and keep them in your kit um for the price that you would pay for one of them you could get like 10 of these so i love that what else what else a legend in the beauty world embryo lease this is a great moisturizer it's a really nice thick moisturizer but it, you can also use it um with people with sensitive skin and that sort of thing um it works really great i like it on older clients as well um and a lot of people use it as a moisturizer slash primer so that is a must-have product and they have other varying shades of or not shades but varying types of moisturizer um dependent on your client base you might want to get another one but this is kind of their classic tried and true i love it i use it works great let's see what else what else um inglot is going to be there and inglot is like another 
um, kind of show favorite. I really love um, Inglots. They have these really cool freedom palette system. So you can build your own um, of different sizes. This is just a smaller three shadow. Um, they also have this style that you can do and this is five shadows um from inglot i really love that people just go crazy because their eyeshadows are really bright and fun but i really really love their face powders and i think people snooze on their face products because they're so mesmerized by the shadows but i would recommend that you give the face products a try and do maybe like a face powder palette versus an eyeshadow palette at the show mac is also there nars is also there and makeup forever are also there which are you know bigger name brands that you're used to seeing um, I think with Mac you don't get a discount unless you have a pro card but it's also a good place where you can um, sign up to get a pro card there directly so you don't have to like mail it in and that sort of thing you could just bring everything you need and then sign up for the pro card on the spot um, Makeup Forever the line is always really crazy so if you want to go I suggest that that be your first stop and you be strategic about it um, but they have a really really good pricing on a lot of their items and um, that is always they always have like a really cool new um, product and they always have really good seminar thingies going on and then NARS last year was I believe 30% off everything and NARS is fantastic for their blushes I love their lip products they're like chunky lip pencils all of those and the different formulas are amazing their shadows are great so that's another great line and those are names that your clients know and probably like um, so that's a really I think a really smart strategy when you're packing your kit is things that you can recommend to people to buy themselves or you know buy a bunch of them and sell them out your kit or that sort of thing um, so I like having a mix of makeup like some things that are like trade secrets so you are an asset to your clients and I like having things that I can easily recommend for them to purchase um, so that they you know take the knowledge with them and they can kind of spruce up when they don't have the money to afford a makeup artist and I like having a mix of like inexpensive things to surprise them and show them you know that beauty comes at all price points so that will also be there I'm just trying to look around and see what I haven't talked about Senna for eyebrows phenomenal they have like eyebrow um, stencils that I really like as well but this kit that I got at the makeup show I love it's called the forma brow and it's their neutral and I use this on almost all of my clients and it just works beautiful and I use it on myself as well um, again another product that like you know can also be eyeshadows um, if you needed to but work phenomenal for the brow love 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 um, I'm looking on the list to see what else I want to say is there that I love. There's also like makeup schools, makeup first school of artistry. If you want to not be self-taught and you want to get proper training, which is always great and recommended, you can um, find out more information about the school there. Um, Mayron is there. They have a phenomenal uh, foundation, the Celebre. HD Pro. It's a cream foundation that moves like a liquid and it's great and it has a phenomenal shade range. Like a really really awesome shade range with different undertones within the shades and it's it's super cool. I really like that product a lot. Uh, Steel is there as well. That's another name brand that's really good. And I think that's about it. Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, there's always stores luckily like a uh, beauty supply stores where they sell a lot of different brands and a lot of uh, big name items so some of the things that I've purchased from those that I love is my beauty so clean spray anyone who does makeup on a lot of people or even if you have a large makeup collection you might want to invest in this and it's a cosmetic sanitizing mist so you just take all your powder products you spritz it I think you can do powders and creams on here you just spritz it and then it just dries no problem I like picking up there is just kind of like spatulas um, and palettes and that sort of thing. That's always great. Um, Alcone Professional Makeup Sponges. I was always a person who's like a sponge is a sponge is a sponge, but these are really like a nice thick sponge. Um, they just really blend the product really nice. I believe they're silicone free. They don't deteriorate on you. You can um, kind of wet them and then they apply, you know, more smoothly than the drugstore ones. They're not flimsy at all. They blend great. You can reuse them if you're using them on yourself. Like one or two times you could kind of rinse them out um, and they won't fall apart on you. Love these. When I do makeup, I always use these. They're phenomenal. You get a big bag that lasts forever. Because I still have mine that I bought last year that I love. 
I'm trying to look around because I just have a bunch of crazy things. Um, another person that's going to be there that I did want to mention is Orline Beauty. And they sell like a lot of um, private label cosmetics. So they have like just blank, no name products that you can kind of um, either custom label or just use to stock up your kits. They also have things like this giant bag that I bought from them that is i love this bag it fits so much i normally put all of my like max size um i eyeshadow palettes in here when i do people's makeup but it holds a ton of product you can see when it's getting dirty like mine is and you can easily wipe it down it's easy to pick these all out of your kit and see what you have in there without having to like dig 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 you can just kind of see because it's all clear and beautiful and i love that so yeah I think that's kind of the gist of it. I mean, there's so much more, like, to be honest, even within the products that I mentioned, and then there's other brands that I didn't even mention, but these are kind of, like, products that I love that I've gotten at the show, um, and I'll put a link below to the exhibitor's list, um, which is on their website, but honestly, if you can try to make it tomorrow, or tomorrow, <laughs> if you can try to make it next week to the makeup show in Chicago, I highly recommend you can. If you don't live in Chicago, um, check out their website and try to find the nearest city for you if you're a makeup artist. I think that it is a must-attend event for sure. And yeah, um, I will next week be there, so I'll be, of course, filming for you guys, and I'll be doing a haul, so look out for a video on that. And that's it. Let me know down below if you've ever been to the makeup show. Have you tried any of these brands? What are your kit must-haves? And that's it. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.